Hello everyone and welcome to the demonstration of Appsy Connect. In this demonstration, I'm going to showcase you how you can connect your Shopify online store with your back office ERP system ACP B1 via Appsy Connect. For the demonstration, I'll be starting off with the customer synchronization from Shopify to ACP B1. So to create a new customer, I'll create a new account in Shopify. So for the contact details, I've added in the contact name, address and other contact details such as phone number and email ID. Now I'll simply add the address. I have added a single address as the default address, for, but for billing and shipping purposes, we can definitely have two different addresses. Once the contact is saved successfully, we'll move into the agent and from the direction Shopify to ACP B1, I'll be triggering the integration point business partner add. Once the business partner is successfully added, we'll check for the same in ACP B1. Let us now move into ACP B1 and search for the business partner. And here we can see that the business partner has been successfully synchronized from Shopify with all the details that we have put in Shopify, the name, the contact details, the other address details, and the phone numbers. Now we move into the next integration point that will be items and we'll be creating a new item in ACP B1 and we'll sync it back to Shopify. So for creating a new item, we'll move into inventory under inventory master data, we'll put in the item details. Now, to create a new item, I have added all the item details of the new item under item master data, such as the item number, the description of the item, the description means the name of the item, and we put the description under the remarks section for the same. Now, once the item is added, I'll simply add the item in ACP B1, and once the item is created here, I'll trigger the integration point product add from the direction ACP B1 to Shopify until the integration is being processed, I'll just trigger or add the stock for the same item. We choose the item and the price list under which the item has been created and the quantity is increased to 3000 from zero. Once I add the goods receipt, I trigger the integration point inventory adjustment from the direction ACP B1 to Shopify. I move into Shopify backend and under the product section, I search for the product I have created and synced to Shopify. Once I search with the SKU or the item number, I get the product with its available inventory, the, the description and the other details that was being synced from ACP B1 to Shopify. Now I'll move into the next integration point that will be sales order. I'll be placing a new sales order from the customer's account with the product we have created just now. Here we can see the order has been successfully placed in Shopify and I'll move into the agent and trigger the integration point sales order add from the direction Shopify to ACP B1. The sales order that I'll be receiving here in ACP B1 will be under the sales order tab in ACP B1. We'll search with the customer name and receive the sales order that has been synced from Shopify. So here we can see all the details that has been put in in Shopify has been successfully synced to B1. Now I'll just copy this to the delivery document and add the tracking ID for the same. So once the delivery document is ready, I'll add the delivery document. This calls for the next integration point that is shipment add from the direction ACP B1 to Shopify.
Before the fulfillment ad from ACPB1 to Shopify, we can see the fulfillment status in Shopify as unfulfilled. Once the synchronization is complete, we'll simply refresh the page to get the fulfillment status to changed to fulfilled from unfulfilled. Also would like to mention customer and items are bidirectional sync and they are available as per customer requests and customizations are always available. This was all for the demo purpose. Thank you.